I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. As you see today, we are going to celebrate the marriage of Prophet Muhammad to Allah. Two days ago, we asked a Muhammadan who is supposedly very knowledgeable and he can tell about Islam. Maybe he's a big sheikh. When Allah, he will take a wife, he will take who? He said he will marry from Prophet Muhammad. Now, you know what? I have no doubt that this is, will be a fancy wedding day. When we see Allah getting married from Prophet Muhammad and they are going to the bedroom to make babies. I'm not sure how Muhammad is going to deliver his babies where, where from, but you can figure it out yourself. Today we will open our Skype again and we will see if some Muhammadan can fix the damage is done by other Muhammadans. And you notice that when Muslims, they are like hit with tsunami, they go to the mute mood. And what is next? Oh, not this idiot, the other idiot. Here we go. Allah will take a partner. She is a female wife. Who is us? Tok 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 tok. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tick. Tok tok. Tuck a tuck. Still, we are waiting. Hmm. Do you Muslim believe in the Trinity? No. Okay. Do Allah have a cousin? She's a female. She's no. pretty. Okay. So Allah no. will now will take a wife and he will take us from us. He will take her from us. <clears throat> it could mean uh, either from prophets or angels so Allah will marry a prophet if so Allah, if, will, uh, Allah will sleep with Muhammad if no no it is written if do but have, if he is if well you know who care about if uh, if actually make it more horrible because now if if it's mean possible if, so if, Allah is if making, is, Allah is putting the condition. If I want to take her, I will take her from this between two brackets, correct? Okay, so now what is between two brackets? You said to me, a prophet, your, your Allah will, prophet will, or angel. Your Allah will take a wife, his, her name is Muhammad? No, why? Muhammad, how can he be a wife? Well, it says there, he's talking a wife, past time, the word lahu in Arabic means 
women in the in, in the in the Arabic language lahu fun the Quran is insulting women saying they are fun I want to take a lahu I will take a woman from us so you are saying to me the angel is the angels are females they don't have any gender no oh, okay what do you mean you don't have gender who said that they don't have gender in Islam is Jibreel he or she Um, as far as I have heard that angels do not have gender. Okay, what the Quran says that the kuffar they say that uh, the kuffar claim that angels are, you know, uh, females. Kuffar, kuffar claims, no, but okay, but you are the one not who said the case. to me, but it you is are, not the case. But you are the one who just said to me, maybe Allah will take one of the angels. Okay, one of the angels or one of the prophet? Uh, one is, of the women. Is, is, is any of the prophets in Islam, they are females? Yes. There's female prophet in Islam? Yes. Name one for me, go ahead. Mother Mary. Who? Maryam. Maryam is a prophet? Yes. She was sent to who? She was a prophet. Really? Prophet Maryam? Yes. Where do you get this from? She is a prophet. Okay, what are you gonna say? The only female, the only female prophet. Uh huh. She, she was the only female prophet. Okay, what, in Islam. Is, what is the prophecy, Maryam? She said. Why do you need a prophecy for a prophet? How you can be? How you will become a prophet without making a prophecy? So are you saying to me that Allah is saying if you want to marry a woman, he will marry Maryam? Yes, could be. Ah, uh, okay. But in order to marry Maryam, he have to be a human being like her. But the verse says, if and if is not... Doesn't matter, but he is giving you the possibility, as I say now, if I want to marry, I will marry, let's say, a, a woman with dark skin. That's when I made the condition. That's the only woman I will marry from. If she is, she have a dark skin. Okay. That's mean I will not accept anything else. So if here is just about the condition of the kind, but still the kind doesn't make sense. What do you mean doesn't make sense? It makes a lot of sense. Islam, all of it makes sense. This is why this Abdul is going left and right, up and down like a yo-yo. You have no idea how to say. Suddenly, Allah will marry a prophet. Uh, okay. And then you will marry Muhammad. And then he will marry an angel. And we ask him, is the angel female or male? You know, psh, okay. I mean, they are really, really, really messed up cult. Now, we will open our Skype and we will give the opportunity to the Muhammadan to fix it duct tape time so Muslims bring your duct tape and call me and try to fix the Quran this is my challenge to you how fast you can duct tape the Quran to make it look better and without holes in it actually already the word holes is used by your scholars they say that there is holes in the narrative hmm. so bring your duct tape I will open my Skype and let us see if you can fix it the one who can fix it, he will earn a reward from Allah for ducking taping Allah teaching. All right, my Skype is open. Any Abdul from the Muhammadan cult would like to call us to duct tape the Quran, to duct tape Islam is more than welcome. But as you see, very stupid cult, they have no idea what they are worshiping. And then we have another guy, he called me, I don't know which minute in that video. And this guy, he is all over the place. You know, he have no ideas what Islam is about. Uh, and every Muslim, he give you his own idea of Islam. Any Muhammadan would like to call us. I know now it's a Christmas time, people are busy. Uh, maybe doing shopping, preparing, you know, to invite family, etc. So I'm not going to keep you really long, maybe only eight hours, you know, short video, short video, short video, you know, short video of a Christian prince is what he's like, Psh, I don't know. Allah knows best. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Who is going to duct tape the Quran today? Who want to fix it? And you know, I'm not going to ask you a question. You tell me what is the best of the Quran and from where, from there we go. You know, 
the funny thing you will see in the comments of Muslim they say Christian Prince he is picking up his cherries that mean you have cherries okay that's a good one you know even what that mean when you say pick up his cherries hmm. very smart so uh, you're ready for eight hours oh okay okay I will make it shorter than nine hours do we have any Muhammad that would like to call us you know mayday 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 duct tape is needed the Quran is really messed up name for me one thing in this stupid book it's not extremely stupid not only stupid and we ask the Muslims who is Allah they say see you Allah is one like, who cares if he's one or two or three my Abdul <laughs> is, is that even a definition Allah is one like who care <laughs> I have one. you know I have ten fingers each one of them is not like the other one is that mean one of my fingers is your God so what does that mean you know like and, and they, he give you a finger up like Allah is one you know finger like, why you do why you use this finger why you don't use the middle finger isn't Muhammad he says I am like the middle finger Allah is, uh, is one. Okay, is that the definition for God? Who is this God, Allah? He is, who cares if he's one? Shaitan is one too. We ask them who is Allah. They say to us, Allah is one. I did not ask you how many Allah you have. And not only that, the other, the other guy, he said Allah will create Allah. Anyone remember which moment in the video so we can play it? Allah will create Allah. <laughs> we say to him, Allah will marry Allah. <laughs> what a messed up cult. Allah create Allah. So Allah, you know, brother, decide to create Allah. And then he starts saying the effort to me at the end when they got past it. All right. Do we have any Abdul want to explain to us how Allah make Allah? Uh Uh, look, look what a Muslim he says. Look what a Muslim says. Guys, we have a victim. We have a Muslim victim. Let us see. Not the one in the picture, this guy. Mr. Wake Up Ummah, he is saying, what a coward are you, CP, forcing us to subscribe just to speak to you, desperate, self-righteous child? You know, I so, saw uh, Abdul. Did I force you, and you are a believer of Allah, to bow down? Look at this. I have a new worshiper. I am Allah. Worship me, and I am one. There's no two like me. And I just force you to subscribe to me, and now you are under my command. Okay, I advise you, I order you to do muta. I order you now to stop doing muta. You know what? I changed my mind. I order you to do muta again. And you know what? Don't do muta. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He allow muta, forbid muta, allow muta, forbid muta, allow muta, forbid muta, allow muta, What's wrong with this God? And now you've been forced to subscribe to me. Are you going to accuse me of rape? Did you? Did something happen? What a victim you are. Ah. What a coward you are. You force us to subscribe to talk to you. You think, you know, at least I force you just to subscribe. You know, your prophet, you cannot talk to him without paying him. Look at the Quran. Look at the stupid Quran. Muhammad, he will not talk to Muhammad unless they pay him first. <laughs> Muhammad, he opened a clinic, sexual clinic, not spiritual. That's why women, they come to him. Prophet, I saw a water between my legs. Should I wash it? Look at the topic, man. Look at the consultation. Look at the noble man. Look at the noble woman. A woman, she is coming to the door of the prophet and telling him, A hey, prophet, yesterday I was doing <coughs> chikabika and <coughs> 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 
I don't know how many times I need to cough to explain to you because this is need a lot of coughing, you know, with all the details. So, <coughs> okay, I mean, this is a lot. Uh, yes, because a lot happened in that night. A lot of things happened in that night. So the Prophet of Allah, he didn't force you to subscribe. He forced you to pay in order to ask him a question about what is between your legs. Imagine you are married and your wife, she go to the Prophet. Say, Prophet, yesterday I saw one of my honeys in the bed, uh, you know, like I was thinking about him and we were doing things like shika bika mika kika. You know, you know, saving up, you know, all, all, all the tricks, all the tricks. And the uh, Prophet said, I was said, look at the question. Look, I mean, this is deep. This woman, she doesn't know what to do now. She have a liquid there. Wash it, not to wash it, wash it, not to wash it, wash it, not to wash it, wash it, not to wash it. I mean, if you want to understand the idea, put the idea, write it on paper and put it behind your windshield in the front of your car and turn the windshield out like wash it not to wash it like let me make it more 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 understood for you because m most of you are not uh, as, as smart like us arab you know we are the best mason for all mankind brother we are the best in everything okay wash it not to wash it wash it not to wash it wash it not to wash it, wash it, not to wash it, wash it, not to wash it. And then suddenly in the middle of this wash it, not to wash it, bingo, she got an idea. Let me go to the Prophet Muhammad. He is so expert with vagina. This is a prophet of God. This is a religion. Wash it, not to wash it. And what is the wash it? We're talking about what? Washing what exactly? A vagina. Are you there, Mr. Ummah? Are you washing it now or not washing it? You see those Muhammad and they read those things for centuries, but they know, nobody noticed how stupid is this. And not only this, you will see in the Hadith, a very, 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 very stupid thing. I mean, things getting weird. The wife of Muhammad, she said to Muhammad, like, what the heck? Women get this charge? Umm Salama, this is the wife of Muhammad, one of his, uh, <coughs> you know, smiled, like, he, 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 he. And she said, <laughs> does a woman get this charge? <laughs> Wake up, Ummah. Your prophet was doing what exactly in the bed to the point his wife, she never get this charge. Hmm? This is the prophet who Allah sent him a dish of shish kebab and he get the power of 40 men and boom, boom. It turned to be that he cannot even make his wife come. So what he was doing exactly? Hmm. <coughs> okay, sound good. Muhammad not mentioned as a prophet in the Quran because the time when Quran was revealed to Muhammad, it is being spoken to him, spoken to him hmm. through Jibreel. So Quran is a form. The point of a view of Muhammad. What is that? I don't know. Are you a Muslim or you are just making? Uh, if you aren't a Muslim, I will block you. If you are a Muslim, text me and I will call you. All right. Yeah. Don't text me in Skype unless you are a Muslim. Only Muslims. Only Muslims. Only Muslims. I know many times it repeat that. Oh, okay, so he's a Muslim. He says, we know that the Prophet Muhammad was a prophet because the Torah and the Bible mention it. Okay, let's call this guy. Look at the fish.
Come on, answer, man. Don't do that. I mean, look how powerful the Abdul. They want to text me, but they will not answer my call. I'm going to mute the, the ring so it doesn't bother you. Yeah, he did not. Abdul is not available. Can you believe it? Look, look. It says Abdul is unavailable. His name is Abdul and he is not available. Uh, give me 15 minutes. We know. Look, look at this. Look, look how deep, brother. We know Muhammad is a prophet because the Bible and the Torah have mentioned it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so why you follow the Quran then follow the Torah and follow the Bible? <laughs> uh, hmm. Let us see. Any Abdul? Anyone? Hmm. Who there? Is my voice coming good? Any Abdul? If Muhammad mentioned in the Bible, then you must and should follow the Bible, and there's no need for the Quran, and that will not make Muhammad a prophet no more. Because that's it, this is the Bible, and the Bible is then it's accurate. So who needs the Quran? The book of Muta. Anyone? Hmm. Who is a smart Muslim would like to call us and tell us what's going on? I feel sorry for the wife of Muhammad, by the way. I mean, this woman, she spent many nights with the Prophet, a month at least. And then after her lifetime spending her bed with him, he did not make her come once. So what he was doing? I told Muhammad, don't play cards. I mean, playing cards is not good. Do you think that Muhammad was drinking too much alcohol? This is why he was not able to do it. Because I heard drinking alcohol. I saw a video of a Muslim saying drinking alcohol will make your <clears throat> will not function. I think this is what happened. Even Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind between in the in the in the boom boom business. The weakest man between all mankind. He did not say the weakest in my town. He said mankind. Look how Muhammad is so fast to get the information. He Allah he did study for him. And Allah he searched for every private part of a male in the world. And he discovered that his prophet Muhammad, his private part is the weakest. Okay. And then you know we find that Muhammad, Allah he needed to fix him. You know, Muhammad, he have a lot of defect. We have, we have to understand. Uh, like if you go in the hadith here, <clears throat> you will see Allah. If you remember, there's a guy. His name is uh, uh, Jihad. Jihad. He called, uh, called me, and I asked him why Allah he need to make a plastic surgery for Prophet Muhammad to install intelligence in in his, uh, you know in his testicles he says because he is uh, 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 his uh, he's low in IQ like what the heck the prophet is low in the IQ mm -hmm. have you ever heard of a god he need he sent to and the, the funny is the Muslim they say to us if Allah wants something to happen he say B is going to be here we go look like the B of Allah is not working with Muhammad Muhammad is so much damaged to the point he need to send surgeon. His name is Jibril. By the way, Jibril, this guy is good in everything. Do you notice that Jibril is the one who bring the Quran? Jibril is the one who take message from Muhammad. Jibril is the one who uh, fight black magic. Jibril is the one who can cut your throat and clean your chest and your stomach, and he put it back. I mean this. And then Jibril is the one who is the perfect to install wisdom. <clears throat> 
and faith. Multi skills. Look at this. So after Jibril, he took all the material inside out of the chest of uh, Muhammad. You know, here when I see the word material, I was wondering, like, what will be inside the chest of Muhammad? So a side belt, eh, maybe no. I mean, he did solo it, no way. A TNT, uh, C4. I mean, what is inside the chest of Muhammad? And then he take it out and he was he washed what? Abodo, Abodo, Abu, Abu. Is that Abdul? He would have Abdul inside. No, Abdu, Abdu men. Abdu men. Ah, this is many men. They are Abdu. Oh, okay. So all the Abdu men, they were inside the Prophet. And he took them and he washed him with the water of Zamzam. Notice, he cannot wash it with seven up. No way. It have to be Zam, Zam. Two Zam. Like Zam square. Then he uh, water with his own hands. He cannot use like, uh, you know, like a laundry machine or eh, no, no way. It's so dirty. So you have to use his hands. So the, the angel of Allah, his hands get dirty. He, like he put uh, like a container. He put Muhammad, uh, uh, Billy, stomach, uh, testicles, everything there. And, uh, you know, he clean it. Till he cleansed the inside of his body. Man, that's a lot of work. I am guessing that he put even Muhammad inside the container because he is working in the body inside. And then a golden tray containing a gold bowl. Look, everything is made from gold there. Allah don't like, I mean, come on, gold. Golden tray. Yeah. I mean, what do you expect? What do you expect? Allah will send a what? Like a, a, tra a tray made in China? <laughs> no way. This is a prophet Muhammad, brother. So tray containing a gold bowl full of belief and wisdom was brought and then Jibreel stuffed his chest and his throat blood vessels with it that's deep that's really 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 deep if you don't believe in Allah, it's time to accept Allah as the only one who can stuff your chest with knowledge and faith. You know, there is no other religion, by the way, in the world, including all cults. They believe that faith and intelligence come in dishes, not even Mickey Mouse. Allah, he brought a dish of faith. <clears throat> You know, I will tell you a secret. Sometimes people, they say to you, you are smart, including Muslims. But I did not tell you. I buy intelligence from eBay. I eat a dish, an average of a dish a day. It's costly, by the way, it's costly. I mean, you have to spend good money for it. A dish of faith. Even faith is coming in dishes in the cult of Muhammad. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? What kind of God? He, okay, okay, Muhammad is a stupid, we got the point. So Allah and Muhammad faith is zero. Okay, Allah will increase his faith. Is that how you do increase faith and you are God? You send a dish of faith? I remember Muhammad, he said this story after the surgery. So now after he became smarter, way smarter. So Muhammad before the surgery was so, 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 so dumb. And Muhammad after the surgery is still so, 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 so dumb. Nothing changed because he told this story after the surgery. So after they fix his intelligence, he is still so stupid to mention such a story. This is Muhammad after the surgery. Somebody's asking in the chat, hey guys, I'm curious, where are you from? Look at the smart question. I mean, we have we have almost a thousand people and now he is asking, where are you from? So now every one of you is going to tell him where I'm from. That, that's deep. That's, that's, that's a question that would make me dizzy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey guys, where are you from? I will do that in the movie. I will go to the movie and they like the state uh, 2000. You know, people come in to watch the movie and they will say, Hey guys, where are you from? <laughs> this reminds me of my cousin. He went to the movie 
uh, but he did not watch it. Uh, he came out, he said to him, you know, Abdul, my cousin, why, why, what happened in the movie? He said, oh, he, 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 by the time I finished saying assalamu alaikum and shaking hands, the movie was over. Okay. Yeah. Do we have any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> For sure, Allah, he loved Muhammad to death. Actually, the Muslim, they say, do you remember that guy who called me before? We have it recorded many times. They say that Allah, he created everything for Muhammad. Even the chair of Allah is made for Muhammad. The poor Allah will have no chair if Muhammad does not exist. Any Abdul? Hmm. Anyone? Any Muslim? I'm looking at the chat. Everyone start giving an answer about where this guy is from. Yeah, smart people. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? I believe Allah himself will convert to Christianity if he debate Christian prince. No, my friend, Allah does not exist to convert or not to convert. Allah is just a fiction. This is a God exists before Islam. And Muhammad, he just hijacked everything. Muhammad, he hijacked, you know, Hindu, Sabian, Christianity, Judaism, anything you know anything in his way you know yeah even alexander the great he became a prophet in islam even alexander the great he have a sections in section in the quran you know who is the one who gave alexander the great wisdom allah who is the one who stopped gog and magog to come and conquer the earth Alexander the Great who is the one who sponsored that idea Allah and for sure Alexander the Great is the one who find where the sun set and where the sun rise until when he reached the sitting place of the sun he found it sitting in a spring of a black, black, muddy water. Any Abdul? And by the way, the racist Muhammad, he taught his people that the people of Gog and Magog, which they are not a human, they are kind of evil, supposedly, or even the one who believe that they are a human. He taught them that they are Asian, in case you do not know. And they claim that the Turk is one of the tribe of Gog and Magog. The reason Allah did not put a wall in, in front of the Turk, because at that time they were not a threat. At that time. And if I'm Muslim, he dare, you know, he dare to say I'm lying, you know, call me and I will show you the reference. Anyone? Any Abdul? <clears throat> what is your opinion about the theory that Muhammad never been exist? My friend, those are uh, there is people they say too that Jesus doesn't exist too, so uh, that's not really that's not my uh, specialty because for me here I debate with people who believe he exists. So if I want to say to somebody, your prophet was not exist, and he believe he is exist. So what I did, you know, and there's a way to prove it. The guy is dead. And there's a way to open his grave. No, so. This is, this is not really, uh, not a way to win an argument. He is exist, he does not exist. That will not make any difference. 
there is more than a billion human beings believe in such a stupid religion. This is what exists. What is beyond that is not my business. Anyone? Some Abdul want to call me. Well, my Skype is open and nobody is calling. No one is calling. Hmm. Text me, please, and I will call you. Just text me. If you are a Muslim, for sure. Those who text me saying thank you for your work, etc., they are disturbing my work. They are not really helping me. I block them. We can say the same in the comment section, not in Skype. And I want in the comment section a real comment, not thank you. What I would do with thank you? What is the point? So we stay here for hours to say to me thank you? Say something after all what you heard. Muslim calling us, Muslim saying things. What do you think about what they said? So this thank you is just uh, you know, like somebody, uh, 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 you know, like walking by, he is uh, shy to say uh, nothing. So he say thank you. I don't want it. <clears throat> do we have any Abdul? Any Muhammadan? Third world countries are suppressed. But you know, suppression can happen everywhere. If you have a dictator, if you have a, a, a regime when I'm force, like now in America, we have socialists trying to take over, right? So they, they are trying to oppress people. They are trying to force them to do things. So oppression, oppression, uh, is, have nothing to do with the, uh, the nation itself as much it is, um, let us say the culture, what people accept. People who believe in freedom, they will fight for it. People who became subdued, you know, potatoes, anybody, anybody can force them to, to do things. Focus in the topic. The topic is Islam is not about anything else. It's not about dictators. It's not about Al Qazafi. Al Qazafi is just taking advantage of a stupid culture he have, you know, tribal. You know, the the, the big tribe take over the little ones, and you know he start paying money for those who support him, and he stay. And the same, the rest, all of them is the same, you know. That have nothing to do with religion and God, and you know, Muhammad is is our topic, not a, a, a dictator. Or do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone who is a Muhammadan can duct tape the Quran. Who is a Muhammadan can fix the Quran. Okay, who is a Muhammadan can prove that the Quran do not need fixing? Can you describe the brothers in Islam? I do not need to describe it. Allah, he describe it. By the way, I don't want to forget to mention that we will have our channel, which is going to study the Bible tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will start our first episode studying the bible so if you like to join us but there we will not allow anyone to speak about islam nothing zero it have to be very clean language anyone he posts something in the chat is not right this is bible channel we will block you immediately it doesn't matter who you are there's no debate because debating will bring me to if a muslim call me to debate then i will mention muta and that will mention etc and then i will mention etc and then we'll find we Instead of having a Bible study, we end having, again, a faithy study. You want to debate me? Here we go. I'm here. Eh, I stay many hours. Call me. There, no debate.
Uh, so uh, somebody says, can you describe the heaven? There is many videos actually in YouTube. They describe the heaven of Allah, paradise, what they call paradise. Uh, you, you will find it super funny and super stupid. You know, there is a video literally called the description of paradise and it is from the Dean show. I played this video in a church and people literally die from laughing. The guy, there's a guy, he cannot even breathe no more. <clears throat> My friend, Muslims, no Muslims, you see, I, I don't play Muslims if they support their, their, their cult with lies. Because if the cult is a lie and full of look what you're talking about, you're talking about duct tape, right? So why a believer would need to duct tape unless he is a liar, following a liar? Like when uh, when David would ask me, Hijab, your God Allah have hands and body part. He said, who said so? Duct tape. There's millions of videos in YouTube from Muslim sheikhs saying Allah have hands, including Zakir and Naik and all of them. Allah have hands, Allah have eyes, Allah have foot, Allah have shin, and then the answer, who said so? Very simple, right? <clears throat> Could you please tell us about Islamic eschatology? My friend, I need, this, I need a year to read even this word. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an Arab, an uneducated, like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and now you are asking me to read this word, hold on. Is hold on, hold on. It's coming. It's coming. Is shil shatatakology? Is shil What the heck is that? <laughs> All right, I got you. So anyway, uh, what we do here always, my friend, is comparing, without making it about comparing, right? Because anyone who had little idea of Christianity, he knew how he used the difference between the cult of Muhammad and the teaching of Christ. You do not need to be a genius. So, while in Christianity, God is love, uh, the God of Islam is kill them, whatever you find them, uh, Allah will re heal the chest of the believers because they want to seek revenge. But revenge from what? They are the one attacking. So, <clears throat> yeah. And then when we talk about heaven, and before the heaven, that the, the judgment day will come, right? Then you will find that the judgment day in Islam is very funny and very weird. You know, I mean, the ideas, Muslims themselves are confused. They don't know anything about the Judgment Day. Muhammad, he keeps saying things contradicting himself. As an example, if I now ask Muslims, what is the first thing will happen in the Judgment Day? Who is a Muslim can help us? Is catalogy? Yeah, I got it, I got it, no worry. We are just joking, my friend. People don't know Christian Prince if he is joking or not. I can read English fluently, you know, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, my cousin, his real name is Shakespeare. What's wrong with you? Like, hello, <laughs> we are the founder of, uh, of Englishity. <laughs> but Allah speak Arabic only. Okay. Anyway, so if you ask Muslim right now, how the judgment day work in Islam? What is the first thing will happen in Islam? In judgment day. Actually, there's a Jew, he came to Muhammad. Supposedly he's a Jew. And he asked Muhammad, I will ask you a question, which no one knows. Three questions. Look, they have to be three. They can't be four. No, trinity. They have to be four. No, no, no. Three. They have it to be three. I will ask you a question, which nobody knows except a prophet. Hmm. This is Al-Bukhari, so they cannot say it's weak. So the guy, he said to him, Abdullah ibn Salam, he says, I am going to ask you about the three things which only a prophet can answer. Hey, look, at that. look at the quiz. Man, there's a quiz of a prophethood now. What is the first sign of the hour? Eh? Okay, that's a good one. What is the first food? Which people in paradise will eat? Like, what the heck? <laughs> what food? First food? <laughs> what does a child 
attract similarity to his father or his mother, which means how why he looked like female or male or even look. The prophet reply. <clears throat> Jibreel has just now informed me that of that. Oh, Ibn Salam, he says, Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews. Jibreel is the enemy of the Jews, Muslims. Jibreel is the enemy of the Jews. Why? <laughs> Jibreel is the enemy of the Look, Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews? That's deep. That's alone in the story. Zibril, the enemy of the Zeus, among the angel, the prophet says, as for the first sign of the hour, oh, okay, it will be a fire that will collect the people from the east to the west. So guys, what is the first sign? What is the first sign? A, 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 a fire will collect people from the east to the west. Okay. What about north and south? No. Go to the front hadith. What is the first sign of the hour, Muhammad? <laughs> Let us see. <laughs> we are trying to find some hadith about a sa. Look at this. Remember, this is the first sign of the hour. The first sign. The other question was, what is the first sign? Look what Muhammad says here. Allah Messenger says, the hour will not be established till the sun rises from the west. So which one is the first sign of the hour? Muslims. <clears throat> Any Abdul can help us? <coughs> Different hadith, Muhammad, he changed his mind. As usual. Let us see. And then now notice nobody want to call to help Allah. <coughs> All of those is about the signs of the judgment day, but we want to go. I think there's a Muslim trying to call. Let us see with this take a Muslim. <coughs> Hello? What? You are what? Hello? Hello? Are you there? Are you there? Hello? Yes? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. You are live on air. Uh, maybe this guy he don't hear me. I don't know. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. But why did you make it so difficult to find? I make it so difficult to find me. I don't know. If you follow GPS, you will be able to find me so easy. Oh boy. YouTube and I was I saw your uh, what your 
uh, live. And mm-hmm. Your voice is cutting, my friend. I cannot understand anything. Hello. Are you there? <clears throat> okay. Hello. How old are you? Are you old enough to talk to me or you are just too young? Okay, well, this internet is horrible. I, can, I cannot really keep the conversation. And he sounds like a kid anyway, I don't know. Uh, he's trying to call again. Okay, let's see. Not available. All right, well, I'm trying to give a chance to everybody, but as you see, one of the false promises of Muhammad about the Judgment Day, that the the Gog and Magog and the false, the, 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 the Dajjal, and those both of them, they were exist in his time. Muhammad in his time, he claimed that the Gog of Magog, people or, or creatures, they open little hole in the wall to come. And he was scared. So supposedly they are coming in his time and nothing happened. And then about a Dajjal, you know the story of Al Jassasa, where uh, supposedly Muhammad told the people about a group of Muslims. They went to an island and they found the Antichrist there. You know, this guy keep calling me. Let us call him. I'm muting the the speaker so it doesn't bother you. Okay, that's not working. We're wasting time. If any Muslim would like to call us, please feel free. So one of the lies of Muhammad that the Dajjal will be from the signs of the judgment, the, the, the hour, the judgment day. And this Dajjal is the Antichrist, is the, the false messiah. But in the same time, he claimed that this man, he was existing his time, and he was in an island, and he was chained. And he is coming very soon. And this guy, he keep calling me. Okay, let's give him a chance. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> Recorded him many times, still it's not working. He's asking me, do you want to debate? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I hear you now. Go ahead. How old my, are you, my friend? Are you old enough or you are too young? How old are you? Are you like a grown man or you are, what? You know, I want to. I don't know. I don't want to talk to kids. Are you? Are you? Okay, so you are over over twenty twenty five. Are you over twenty five? Okay, no problem. So, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Sorry, because your your voice your voice sound like uh, you know too young. So I wanna be sure. Go ahead. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I don't know. You just said to me. You, you just said to me he's a prophet okay when, when somebody is a prophet he have to have a prophecy okay I have the Quran in front of me show me the prophecies of your prophet hmm. 
Hmm. For his ummah, even though it was his downfall. So, uh, my friend, my friend, there sorry, Allah... sorry, there was an error in the audio, so people did not hear in the beginning what you said. Uh, so, uh, guys, I apologize. There was an audio problem. Uh, uh, can okay. you repeat from the beginning? You said to me whatever you said to me. You said to me, I saw your life. You yeah. Okay. Okay, you said what uh, a prophet needs to have prophecies, correct? Yeah, okay. So Prophet Muhammad, as I said to a salam, he and didn't... You, and, wasn't and I asked you if you are over 20, uh, 25, you said yes, correct? Right? Yes, yes. We yeah, because people... Uh, let me explain. Let me explain. Because people yeah. in, the, in, the, okay. in YouTube, they have a difficulty to hear you. So now I'm... Uh, it's lagging. Fix. Yeah, now it's, it's working. Lagging. No, now it's working. Yeah, it's, it's okay. But okay. they were complaining they could not hear So, yeah, we, we talked about, yeah. Yeah, we talked about uh, a prophet needs to be able to have prophecies, right. correct? Okay. In order to be... Yeah. Actually, the Quran encourages you bef before you follow to yeah. actually think and question people. So, All the right. Prophet, mm -hmm. before he was a prophet, he was known as the Amin, mm -hmm. who's uh, well-respected, a mm -hmm. Sadiq, who mm -hmm. tells the truth, so he was already a cherished character within his ummah, correct? Okay. So everybody believed him. Uh, okay, uh, so let, let, believed let me him. ask you, let me ask you then. You said yeah, that the prophet ahead. is known to be Amin. What Amin mean? Amin means someone who is uh, worthy of trust. Someone okay. who is you can trust with uh, your properties. Someone who won't backstab you. All right. What so do you, you think? What do you think? To, I, I have... Back to, Okay, Hold I have on. a friend. Going back to your question, mm -hmm. going back to your question that a prophet needs to have prophecies. No, no. We want to stop here for a second. We want to stop here for a second. We want to stop here for a second. No, no, let me. You let said me that Muhammad. You said Muhammad is an Amin. Go ahead. And I have a yes. friend. I have a friend. He wants to, yeah. to marry a woman. And his this woman, her, her father don't want her to marry from this man. He's my friend. And then they agree okay. to make the father drunk. So they can convince him that he married them already. What do you think about my friend? Is he a mean? Is he trustworthy? Or this is a dirty trick to do? First of all, you seem to be jumping from one place to another. That's yeah. a, a, let, it let is me you who mentioned it. It's you who mentioned meant. it is you who mentioned the word that Muhammad was yeah. a trustworthy. This is because why we have to asked, stop. No, look. Let's yeah. just be professional because you we are we are professional. Prophet, you are talking to prophet, the most professional. I'm no, asking no, no, you, look, is that this is, this is, is the that a trustworthy? No, you are the one who mentioned the word trustworthy, so we have to stop with it for a minute. Was so Muhammad, you said was Muhammad that a trustworthy? Make someone drunk. Was Wait, you said make yes. someone drunk. Yes, make to, someone drunk. He made his, them he, think. He, he made the father of the wife, the, the wife he wouldn't marry, yeah. drunk, and yeah. his wife. Both of them they did that, and in order to convince him, when he woke up in the morning. That they got married, and he was a blessing so in the marriage. Why are you asking? Why are you asking him that? What do you think about? What do you think about a person like this? Is he trustworthy or he is a fraud? Why are you asking me that? That's, I'm asking. What, I want to see your opinion you because I want to see the ethic you have in your background. What kind of ethic is that? A good ethic for you, or is this a very bad person? I think maybe you need a dictionary to know what I mean means. How someone, like how making someone intoxicated a good thing? Like, do you know what the me, the word I mean means actually? So, because what, what kind of scenario are you talking about? So, is that, is, that, as, is that made him a good person or made him a very filthy person? I think that's for you to answer because you don't know what I mean. Is how like, I'm telling I'm asking you, now, you help me. Help you made me. someone, my friend, help me. You help made me. someone intoxicated, if somebody, if somebody, unaware yeah. of their surroundings because that's what you know. Uh, alcohol does it makes you loose. It makes you not fully co uh, fully cognitive. Okay. So how is tricking somebody? I mean, like, what? Why are you so asking he, me that? So he oh, is so not wrong. Okay, so you are saying to me this is not trustworthy person, correct? He's bad. Go ahead. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he agree. Well, this is what your prophet did. This is the Sira, this is a Sira, this is a Sira Nabawiya, Ibn Hisham. Mm -hmm. This is volume number mm -hmm. one and page number mm -hmm. two, three, nine. And this is the yeah. chapter name Imtihanu Khadija Burhan al Wahi. I'm guessing maybe you speak Arabic. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Read for yeah. me. As long as you speak Arabic, I want you to read. I put it for you on the screen. You read and you translate. Go ahead. I'm not looking at your uh, live right now. You need to look. You need to look so you can read. Do you want me to give you the Go link? ahead. You read it. You read it out loud. I'll listen. I can no, I want you to read it and you translate. 
Look, right now, I'm not close to it. So go ahead, you read. My and friend, listen. open it the really YouTube. Matter, just, be, just be sure it's muted. Read for us what is in the screen, please. Go ahead, you read. I'll listen. Are you going to read or not? Go ahead. No, not I'm not going to read. Go ahead, read. No, what, what if I give you the link and you read from there? Just read. Seconds. Why is that so long? Just because you, you claim you read. speak Arabic. I want to see how uh, you look, speak Arabic. Do you look, speak Arabic? We, 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 look, just look. read it. Uh, do you, listen. Do you speak no Arabic? Need. Do you speak not, Arabic or not? I'm not gonna read. Okay, I'm going to I read do. in Arabic. I'm going to read in Arabic and you translate. Is that fine? Go ahead, no problem. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, sorry, this is not uh, not the hadith I want to mention by mistake. I opened this one. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. <laughs> Khadija. Mm -hmm. She made her father drunk okay. in order to marry from Muhammad. And Muhammad, he have no problem with that. Let us see. <clears throat> and I will open uh, a trustworthy source. So Muslims, which is what? Which is Islamic which is books, is Islamic books, you know, Islamic books, you know. What, what, what book is it? You will see. Hmm. No, tell me what book is it? You will see. Tell us the source and everything. Sure, I will show you. Always, I will show. I show the the, the source. We will never mention something That's without the source. Good to know. Oh. A reliable source as well. Sure, sure. It have to be. be yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Musnad Ahmad, Musnad Al Imam Ahmad, mm -hmm. volume number one, page number three, one, two, which means 312. Mm -hmm. It says here, hadith number 2846. We've been taught by, uh, I will read in Arabic, Haddathana Abu Kamil, Haddathana, Haddathana, from, 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 from Hamad. That Anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Dhakara Khadija Wa kana abuha yargabu An yuzawijuhu Fasana'at Which means he don't want to, you know, to marry Fasana'at ta'aman Wa sharaban Fada'at abaha wa zumran min Quraysh Fata'imu wa sharibu Hatta thamilu Faqalat Khadija li abiha Inna Muhammad ibn Abdullah Yakhtubuni Fazawijni iya Fakhala'atahu Fakhala'atahu Wa albasathu Hulla وكذلك كان يفعلون بالآباء فلما سري عنه سكره سكره نظر فإذا هو مخلق وعليه حل فقال ما شأني ما هذا قالت زوجتني محمد <تصفيق> so translate go ahead no, I understand is what you exactly said um... But tell me who... No, who translate, wrote translate, this translate, translate. Because we don't translate. People want to hear it, my friend, from you. Translate. What happened? All right. So according to this source that you have, hmm. um, they seem to be very biased. And obviously, they have a standard. Um, the way they're narrating it is not that of a person translate, who's actually translate. narrating what the story. The way, what the way they narrate? They're being biased. What, it's a narrating. No, 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 now, suddenly, the way... Look, what the way? Is, I, look, I'm asking you, look, can you translate? Can you translate what you wait, I just straight for you? You said to me, we agree no, that I will read in Arabic and you will yeah. translate. Do you know Arabic or not? I, uh, yes, I know. So I translate. Know Go ahead, my friend. Go ahead. It's Go ahead. not translate. my job. Look, translate. Look, no, it's, it's your job. job because I want people to, to hear a, a, no, a true, tra true, true translation. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm lying. <clears throat> maybe this is Christian Prince. He is not saying what it is there. So you, be, we, we agreed. You, you, first, you refused to look at it. Let's Secondly, you refuse to have the link, and now you don't want to uh, translate. Let's... Why not? Why, why are you? Why are you like? Why are you so stressed? You need to like calm down first of all. My friend, tell me who wrote here, this. We have, so this we, person here we is... are not a bunch of kids. I ask you, are you over the age of twenty-five? You said yes. You are a grown man. So, okay. Okay. Read. Really, translate. So this whoever whoever you got this source from is biased, and it's what not bias? Authentic. This is Muslim Imam Ahmed. Um, Imam Ahmed is biased now. The way you're writing the. It's not correct. 
and who, it, who are you to say not correct you are the so, one who said to me no, give me the source no, it have to be a reliable source here we go this is your islamic website it's it's not this is it's musnad, not reliable this is musnad al-imam ahmad al-imam ahmad is not reliable now yeah, it's not reliable oh, so he's, a, he's, a Jew. he's a Jew. no no Okay. It doesn't make sense because it, the way it's written is very biased, is incorrect. Okay. So let us translate because um, you are not, refused, Therefore, you are, it's not really Are you going to translate source. or not? Translate and then give me the answer. These are your views. You can go ahead and translate. What but my I view? What view? I did not say any view. I did not say any view. I'm asking you. No, your this view. is not valid. I'm asking you it's your view. Valid. Who are you to say it's valid or not? It's not valid. That's what so, I'm saying. Guys, now, if you have another he, point, he's refusing to translate. Hold on, it. let me translate to the people. Then you refuse, okay? Because you are ashamed of Go your ahead. prophet. Okay. So Go. it says here that Khadija, she she wanted mm. uh, to to get married from Muhammad. Her father, he don't want that. So she made food and drink, which means alcohol, and she invited people mm. from Quraysh, the tribe of Muhammad, her tribe too, and then they 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 ate and they drank. Until they get so drunk, they cannot even, they, 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 which means they almost faint. And then Khadija, she took off uh, when he's drunk. She said to him, by the way, you made me, <laughs> you made me marry Muhammad. And then she took off his clothes and she dressed him with the new clothes. So when he wake up in the morning, he will find himself addressing what they use, used to dress for parties. Like everybody, when you go to a wedding party, you don't wear a normal clothes. Remember, they live in the desert. So they have a fancy clothes they wear only when they have an occasion. So look how evil she is. She took off his clothes to fool her father. So he can believe that he married her, which means Muhammad never married Khadija. Because the marriage have to be by the agreement. And this man never approved it. They made him a drunk. And Muhammad in the morning, he announced himself that he is married to Khadija. And this is how they became married by a fraud. Your your words. I think you I think you're you're very brainwashed. And I think that these these the sea of information is there, and if everybody is responsible for their whatever information that they collect. Okay, so um, you, you so believe you, so no, no, uh, when you, you believe me, what you want to believe. I, my friend, this is your belief. This is your belief. This is your belief. This is your religion. Imam Ahmad is no, not a Christian it's, imam. No, look, imam it's Ahmad, wrong. What you're saying it doesn't. It, you have no solid foundation. This is incorrect information. Anybody on the internet can how write. How you know? You never you heard this before. You, you never heard this before. You just now you're surprised, and now suddenly you are an expert who knows that this is not valid. It is. It's not. It's not correct. But you never heard this before. How you correct. can be sure? Look, I'm, sh look, I'm showing you. This look, is your Islamic you website. Have, Abdul, this listen. Is not, this look, is your Islamic you website. Listen. This is the book of Musnad yeah. Imam Ahmad. This is the hadith number. This is the value number. This is the page number. Mm -hmm. Value number one, page number 312. And the hadith number is 2846. And the Imam is Musnad Imam Ahmad. So you are saying to me, this is not valid? Who are you? Yeah, no, you incorrectly saying it, and so it's what wrong. We discover, like, you, it doesn't even make sense. What we sense. discover, what but we discover. Do you, do you what, have Do you have any other kind of Do you have any other kind of point? Because this is wrong. What you believing is okay. Wrong. Let us Let us talk about something sense. else. Let us talk about something else then. If a man okay. he go to the house of uh, of his son, and he flirt with the wife, is he a good? Is he a mean? Is he a good person? If it what? explain yourself if a father if your father with my respect to your father i'm not trying to insult okay he come to your house uh and he flirt with your wife when she was alone is that a good trustworthy man uh, no it's not and here you go is that lawful in is, kind of is, is that is that lawful in islam is that lawful in islam, is that lawful in islam? Oh no, they, you're not allowed to go near someone if a, else's if a, wife. If a person he flirt with married women, is he going to go to heaven or to hell? He's going to be judged. That he's going to be judged. Be so he's not a, he's not a good person, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, this is exactly what your prophet did. He went to the house of his own son, Zaid, by adoption, and he mm -hmm. flirted with the wife when the husband is not there. Okay, what's your and evidence? he told her, he told her, yeah. praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart a flip for you. Hmm. You are the one Let's who said, okay, yeah, here we go. Nikahun Nabiyu Zainab bin Jahsh. 
it says here and we can show you from other sources too فجاء زيد إلى منزله فأخبر سوري let's go from the beginning جاء رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بيت زيد بن حارثة يطلبه وكان زيد إنما يقال له زيد بن محمد so uh, Muhammad he came to the house of Zayd which is his adopted son and he used to be called the son of Muhammad uh, okay. so he wanted to check on him he went he go to him he said where is Zayd he went to the uh, house of, uh, of Zayd so he went to his house فَجَاءَ مَنْزِلَهُ يَطْلُبُهُ فَلَمْ يَجِدُهُ فَتَقَوَّمَ إِلَيْهِ زينب فتقول له هنا يا رسول الله so محمد when he saw her he say he said to her سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله مصرف القلوب سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله مصرف القلوب your prophet is flirting with the wife saying to her praise be to Allah the one who made my heart flip for you when when Zaid he came back, he told his wife about what his father said, and then the man he went to the house of Muhammad saying, "Please let me divorce her," because now they knew that there is something going on between the wife and the father. You know, this sounds like a a bedtime story because you keep making up all of these stories, and there is no point of debating if somebody believes something that doesn't exist is that your is that so, your is that your book or this is my book you just said this is big bedtime story yeah because this sounds what you're reading sounds like a bedtime story you have no authentic narration it's just uh -huh. you're just highlighting things on the internet this doesn't even make any sense show uh -huh. me an authentic show me in the quran or a hadith uh, okay so this is somebody so said, look, somebody look, said okay somebody so look like so look, so look like look like yeah uh, mm. anything i will show you is not authentic yes ah uh. because it's fairy tale what you're reading is fairy tale. okay like do you, well, do you want me to clap you, give you, you okay a can you can something? you give me names of some scholars you agree that they are trustworthy all the all the main ones yeah like who oh, like who give, uh, give me give me some names hmm Let's go with the Quran and no, no, give the, me some the, names the, because I'm, I'm I now I don't know what to do. Whatever I give you, you say it's not trustworthy. So give me some names like what a Jalalain or Qurtubi or Tabari. Who who is the who is the trustworthy for you, Muslims? I want to know. I want to go down to your basics now. Tell I'm asking me you, anything who is in the a trustworthy Quran. for you tell, as a Muslim? Who is a trustworthy for tell, you as a Muslim? The, let's go with the Quran and the okay, okay, hold tell on. Me. So why you don't want to tell me the names of the trustworthy books for you? Is a Jalalain Trust trustworthy? Me, is a Jalalain trustworthy? No. Is a Mikathir trustworthy? Is a Qurtubi trustworthy? Or they are not? Why are you running away from the Quran? We are not. You go with the we Quran. are not. You, you are saying to me, don't go ahead. So, no, are, you, are, you, are you a Quran only? 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 I gave you space. Are you a Quran only? I gave you space. My friend, are you a Quran only? I gave you space. Are you a Quran only? So, what you need Do you believe only in the Quran or you don't believe in the Hadith too? Oh, I believe in, in the Quran and the Hadith as well. Okay, so well, uh, we are showing you the Hadith. Can... So we are showing you the Hadith written about your Prophet. Okay. Now, it's incorrect. All of the stuff that you're who reading, said who is that's incorrect? why there, who, there's who, no Who point. are you? Who there's are no... you? This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, variant number 14, page number 190. It says the same, that Muhammad, when he came to the wife of, of Zaid, he flirted with her and Allah, he made, he sent wind and he left the curtain. So, and she was almost naked, متفضلة, and you read Arabic. في منزلها فرأى زينب فوقعت في نفسه. So he saw Zainab and he felt for her, which means he want to sleep with her. ووقع في نفس زينب أنها وقعت في نفس نبي. So Zainab, she, reason, she knew all that, all that. Around. So, look, so look, you are saying to me, reason, so you are Allah. saying to me, Al-Qurtubi, no, no, who is a biggest scholar in Islam, is lying about your prophet. Look, you're running around, not talking about the actual... Quran, which you don't, you can't this find is, any This is the interpretation in, of the Quran. This is the interpretation of the Quran. This is the interpretation, interpretation of the Quran. Interpretation. Yeah. Interpretation of the Quran. Okay, but they are telling the story behind the, behind the verse. 
Oh, and they explain that verse in their own terms. It doesn't okay, make so sense. Is Al Qurtubi now you, is, look, is Al what, what, qualified? Is Al Qurtubi me, qualified? Give me an actual is, look. Is Al go, go in the Quran. So is Al Qurtubi the Quran. qualified? Show Listen, me an so actual. why you Muslim you call them scholars and you print their books and you teach it in universities and now they are a bunch, bunch of dummy liars. So is Al Qurtubi lying or telling the truth? Go on the Quran. There's no point debating, honestly. Go on the Quran. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and so now you don't want to read your books. Now you deny all your books. Anything I will show you, you don't accept. You, the stuff that you're showing doesn't make any sense. We don't need doesn't to make go sense over to who? It, it was. It makes again. sense to all Muslims. This is all Qurtubi. Who are you? No, it doesn't. Are you, are the stuff you, that you're saying is literally you, on the you internet. You just highlight. You we talked about this before. You're what? avoiding the big topic, which is the Quran. If you want to talk about the Quran, you're more than welcome to. Ah, get, get me so, verses but, from so, the Quran. So don't lie to me. That. Don't lie. And, and let's say, talk about the hadith. So don't lie because and these say books, that Muhammad was books, a trustworthy. These books. I I these stop books here. Let's remember. I that stop you're here. Bringing, don't I make stop any here sense. because you said Muhammad is trustworthy. So you lie to us. He's not. Nobody's lying. What you're reading is incorrect. You can't force okay, accuse Okay. I want somebody. you to fix it. Is it incorrect or it's a lie? <clears throat> Sorry. What? Is it incorrect or it's a lie? About what? About Muhammad flirting with the wife of of, of his son. It's incorrect. It's what does incorrect. that mean? Is it a lie? Is it a lie or no? It's a lie. It's, it's a lie. lie. So why you must them lie, yeah. why you must them write such a thing in your books? Those are your scholars. Why they are writing those? Look, we talked about this. This isn't right. The what do you mean? The, ah, the, the, because it's saying, shameful. The okay, now let us go to the Quran. Are you, Quran now, are, you go, are you going now to accept this the Quran or not? Quran let us go to the Quran. Or, no, it's in the, the Quran hadith. too. It's in the Quran too. Read with me. In show chapter, me where. Show in chapter, me. Show chapter, me where 33, is. chapter 33 in the Quran. Bring it up. Al Muhammad Zaid, he go back after he heard that his wife been flirted with the father. Hey, listen. Look, go on the Quran. Show me the exact verse. Read it out loud. Chapter 33, verse number 37. Go and read it. Read it. You read it. I'll listen to you. Go ahead. Read I'm, it. Losing, I'm losing my voice. You read it for me. Can you, can't you tell? I'm shouting. You read it. No, you, you like, you my like, friend, you're you, the you Muslim. What's wrong with you? Do I have to read everything for you? Read at least. Are you, are, are you wasting the opportunity to read to the Kuffar, the Quran? I'm giving you the honor to read, read the it. book. No, read it. Maybe you get head I'm going to hang up on you if you don't read it. My friend, I'm losing my voice. Read it for us. What's wrong with you? You will not read anything. You like to talk a lot, so I'll give you the stage. Go ahead. No, it's, you, it's your prophet who like to talk a lot. Here we go. The man, he came to the prophet and says to him, please, let me divorce my wife. Muhammad said to him, oh, no, don't, don't divorce her. So Allah, he says to him, why? Why you are hiding what is in your heart to her? Look, read, read the ayah. Just read it. I gave Be you quiet, the ayah. Read. I gave you the ayah. You read it, and everybody will laugh. Chapter thirty-three, verse number thirty-seven. Your God, Allah, is supporting a man who is flirting with the wife of his son, and He's saying to him, "Why you lie? Why you lie? You don't tell the man that you want this woman. Why you don't tell her? Tell him what is in your heart for her. The verse in the front of you." Did you rest your voice now? <clears throat> you I'm are, waiting for you to You read. said you are over 25 years old, right? What, uh, speak as a man, come on. Go ahead, just read. You I'll read. Listen. You read. You are a potato now. You are being. A, you are being smoked before we start even debating. We did not debate yet. This, first, there's the, no point the, debating. The, the first game. The first game. You said I don't accept those hadith. One after one. I don't accept those sources. One after one. And now we are showing you Quran. Still, you don't want to read it. What kind of a growing man you are? Ashamed of reading his own Quran. Hello. Yeah, prove to me that you are a growing man. And read. What? Read. Read. You. I listen to you reading. Go ahead. Read. I, I do listen. not know how to read. I'm like your prophet, illiterate. You just 
You just said you're going to read it. Go ahead. Well, read. Really There's no point me. doing really this. squeezed me and I, I forgot how to read again. He squeezed me to activate me once and then second and then the third time I forgot again how to read. You read it. Go ahead. Are you ashamed of your Quran? I'm ashamed to be talking to you, honestly, because it seems like I know because now it's recorded and everybody will laugh at you. Everybody no, will laugh at you for, for you the see, coming century. Some people, some people want to know what's right. And some people don't actually want to know what's right. And it seems like you're a man child um, and very kind of unprofessional as oh, well. Yeah. Um, so why don't you just read this for us so we can talk about it? Okay, I'm going you to read it. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to read it for uh, you. Okay, I'm done reading. It's your answer now. See, Ch okay. Chapter 33, verse number 33. Exactly, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm professional. It's not worth talking to you, honestly. Yeah, yeah, and you are a potato. I am. And you are a potato. Okay. Oh, what you need to do, potato. open in your uh, phone, open chapter 33, verse number 37, and read for us. You ask me for Quran, I'm giving you Quran. Read it. But you're talking like a five-year-old, honestly. Read it, read it, be a man. Be a man once in your lifetime. Stop washing. This is your wife. I heard her behind you laughing at you. There's no point. There's no point arguing with you. There's no point. Exactly. Yeah, but you can't answer. Mm -hmm. okay. Answer what? There's nothing to answer. I just showed you the verses. You asked me. You man, said, man show me the Quran. You said to me, show me the Quran. What kind of God? He said to his prophet. Why you are hiding what is in your heart for this woman? What he have in his heart? The woman she's still married. If you if you read it out loud, if you read it out loud, we will talk about it. So go ahead, you, read it out you loud. are you are thirty years old, and you don't dare yeah. to read your Quran. Who said I don't dare to read my own Quran? Then read it. Why would I be here if I don't? So read it. I'll wait for you to read it. <laughs> Go ahead. So you turned to be from the beginning when you said to us, our prophet is a trustworthy. He's a scumbag. What kind of a man, even in Al-Qurtubi says, if the eyes of the prophet fall in a, a, a woman, she is married, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can if her. This is the trustworthy. Mm -hmm. All right, so there is really no point talking to you. There's no point. Um, Hang up. Go run. You're talking about potatoes. Run, put you're your tail between your legs and run. Who cares? Hang up. Either you read. You ask me to show you the Quran. I'm showing you the Quran. No, I think that some people... What is, the, what like is in to... the heart of Muhammad? It says here, you hide what is in the heart of you. What is in the heart of Muhammad? The man he came Who to Muhammad the... saying, I want to divorce my wife. Muhammad said to him, don't divorce your wife. That look at the coward. A second ago, he was a flirty with the wife, sorry. And now he is saying to the man, because now he got embarrassed, embarrassment. Don't, don't divorce your wife, okay? Don't keep, keep your wife. So Allah, he made a verse for him supposedly. Obviously, Muhammad making that. So Muhammad, after the guy he left, he said to himself, why he did that? I want a woman. So he made a verse claiming that Allah told him, why? Why, Muhammad? Why you hide what is in your heart for that woman? Huh? Allah manifest for you that you are going to sleep with her. Take her. She is yours. But the woman, she is married. Yeah, there's, there's no point arguing with you. There's no point. There's no point. Yeah, see, there's no point. Very immature. So you lie to us about your prophet being trustworthy. He is not a trustworthy. He's a scumbag. And you cannot defend that. Yeah, your prophet being trustworthy. He is not a trustworthy. He's a scumbag. And you cannot defend that. No, I think you're the scumbag. Well, you have to prove it. I never go to my house, son, and flirt with the wife. You do? Who knows? I never. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. I don't have a son anyway. I don't go to my friend's house and flirt with his wife. Glad, glad, glad that you don't. I'm uh, very glad. Yeah, so I'm. I'm a, All right. No, don't no, worry. Uh, I'm going to have 20 kids. There's no kids point. Soon. I really. I I'm think going to have a 20. Uh, I'm going to family, have 99 yeah, kids soon. I will do the same as Solomon. He had sex wasted, with uh, wasted you. Abdul Potato. Go. I wasted my go. Time. Next time, let your dad call me. 30 man years or 30 years old. What a potato you are. Coward. So don't lie to us, Muslim, and say Muhammad was trustworthy. Even his marriage is a fraud. 
What kind of a man he agree to use alcohol to make the father of the wife drunk? Uh, how you can quote even a wife? She's not his wife because there's no marriage. In the morning, he wake up, he find them together. He says, what's happening here? They said, don't you know you married me yesterday to him? And this is written by your scholars. And then you call me and you tell me our prophet was a trustworthy. He was called a Sadiqul Amin. The honest, the trustworthy. Yeah, right. He is very trustworthy. Any Abdul? Actually, he have a he have a name of uh, of a female. I don't know. This is female or male? Maybe he's using a female account. I'm not sure. So, what happened to this Muslim? He got shocked with the lies they told him about Muhammad, the amazing guy. And then he found that as a prophet, he cannot be trusted to enter his house. Can we even trust Muhammad to be with a child? When Muhammad, he go after Jabir, and he said to Jabir, did you, while you are in rush, Jabir? Jabir, he says, I'm newly married. Muhammad, he says, uh, did you marry a child so you can play with her? And she play with you? Jabir, he said, oh, no, I, uh, <clears throat> I did marry a, 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 a widow. Muhammad, he said to him, why? Why? Why you don't marry a little child? So you can sport with her. She make you love. She will amuse you. This is a trustworthy. He go after a married man and he start whispering in his ears like the devil. Make him believe that he should leave the woman he married and go after a, a kid. This is the trustworthy. This is the good friend. This is the good prophet. Whispering like the devil in the ears of a man. He is already happily married. What's your business? And what kind of a prophet of God? He wants you to go and marry a child. Look what the guy he said to him. He said to him, uh, I said, Abdullah, my father, died and left girls, which means little girls. And I dislike to marry a girl like them. A girl like what? Like them. So I married a lady. So she may look after them. Muhammad, he want him to marry a little child. She needs somebody to look after her. Instead of marrying a woman. This is the trustworthy. How are you doing, Mr. Mahdi? Why you don't call me Mahdi? We have Mahdi. He became a prophet suddenly. The word is ending soon. Well, you're a prophet. He said that long time ago and nothing happened. You're a prophet, Mr. Mahdi. He said, your prophet said, the judge needs to do near, you know, like do so near, and then nothing happened. <clears throat> Is that true? Is that true? The judgment day started in the time of Muhammad according to Muhammad. If you go to the chapter of the moon, not the chapter of the sun or the scorpion or the crab, because it's a zoo, you will find the following verse. 
the judgment they literally started in the time of Muhammad chapter 54 verse number one the moon has been cleft asunder and look at the translation they say the people of Mecca requested people prophet Muhammad to do but what is this this is the Quran unbelievable and they requested really they requested so how come the Quran said Allah refrain from making miracles The hour is nigh, and the moon is a cleft asunder. <laughs> and okay, this is 1400 years ago. So the judgment, they started already. Your prophet lied. Who's next? <clears throat> Remember, when you say to something to me, anything you say, I will stop you to, to, to investigate. I am not the David Wood. I am not the apostate prophet. You can say whatever in the, you know, you throw it in the, like you are making beef, you know, ground beef. You throw whatever between and then it's going to come inside the beef and it go. Whatever you say in, in the front of me, I'm going to check it out. I am not like those who will let you through some lies between. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> is that a false prophecy or this true prophecy? And Allah, and who is the one who split the moon? And did Allah make a verse, I glued the moon again? Because the word split means it became two pieces, literally, separated. So did Allah make a miracle and clue the, ver the moon again? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Who is next? And then the Muslims, they will make a video to refute a Christian prince talking to himself. We open the, the weapon sky for them. Call me, prove me wrong. Here we go, a bunch of potatoes. This hadith is uh, not true because it doesn't make sense. Huh? So if it's not true and it doesn't make sense and it's not right, why you Muslim have it in your books? <laughs> Isn't it weird? This hadith, brother, obviously is a fabrication. It's da'if. Everything, anything is embarrassing is da'if. And da'if, by the way, is accepted. <laughs> this is why Sheikh Hamza, Hamza he said, the da'if the, hadith, is, uh, is a weak hadith is a weak argument. Go watch his video. He said, weak hadith is a weak argument. Yeah. And he was trying to use the duct tape by saying this is the if and this is not accepted and this doesn't make sense and this is not right and this is <laughs> duct tape here we go we ask them to not to use the duct tape too much but they cannot resist the temptation of duct tape power but you cannot use duct tape with me hmm who's next Who's next? So Muhammad is not trustworthy. He's a very bad person. Extremely disgusting person. A thief. Pedophile. Like, he loved to lie as a business. Even the Quran says that Muhammad, he told his wives to lie. He told all his wives to who knows his secret to lie. The God is a liar. Muhammad is a liar. His wives are liars. The Hadith are liars. The Sheikhs are liars. That's what the Muslims say to us. Any Abdul? 
Now look at this chapter, how silly, how stupid it is. There is no meaning. Any Abdul? And you know, I'm so glad that the Muslims, they were collecting everything about their prophet. So today we can read it. And they try to escape it, you know, to escape the reality check. But how they can escape it? I mean, this is written by their hands. Preserved by them, by the caliphate. How they can run away from it? Do we have any Abdul? Until now we have only one Abdul. Who is next? Again, I want to remind you that starting from tomorrow, December 24th, we are going to have a Bible study in our other channel, and you can see it in the message there. I hope my voice by tomorrow will be better. Any Mohammedan? <clears throat> Yeah, actually, this is true. Everyone who busts CP don't dare to call CP. Isn't it weird? As long as you can, bust CP or, or easy. Why you don't call CP? <laughs> Isn't it weird? My Skype is open. Those who can bust CP, they should call CP or let me CP call them. Do you dare? Anyone? <clears throat> and by the way, the more they make videos, I mean, they, they make videos, they put cartoon, they put funny pictures, supposedly this is me, whatever. And Christian Prince, uh, the, suddenly Christian Prince, he became a Mickey Mouse or so, you know. He, you're bringing me more, more people, oh, that's all. Because even the Muslim who never heard of me, he will wonder who is this guy. Let us go and watch. And then when they come here, they see that it's a deity of Allah. <clears throat> Well, somebody saying about if you don't sit and when you eat a shaitan dance on the table. Well, Muhammad, he had many crazy stuff. Like, you know, if you you have to uh, you have to sit uh, when you are eating because shaitan, he do certain things or you have to eat with the uh, right hand. Otherwise, shaitan will eat with you if you use the left hand. Uh, you have to say a certain prayer before you have intercourse. Otherwise, shaitan will wrap himself around your penis. Uh, you have to say certain prayer before you enter the bathroom. Otherwise, shaitan will, will play with your anus. This is Muhammad, what we can say. And yet they, call, they, they say he is a prophet. He is a prophet. Okay, what is the prophecy of the prophet? How Muhammad is a prophet? So people like this guy, <clears throat> how do you call you Use Skype, Mr. Hamza. Use Skype. You never heard of Skype? So those people, they used to speak to Christian. They say the prophet was trustworthy. And the Christian, what do you say? Okay, he was trustworthy. The prophet was amazing. Oh, he was amazing. So when you talk to me, I will stop you with everything you say. We can't just let it go. We have to investigate the truth of it. <clears throat> 